It's been really shocking for a lot of people in the community, Lisa. Mount Isa has a population of 20,000 people and when 1,200 employees of the mines behind us are told that their jobs won't exist in 2025, it makes a lot of people really nervous. The mood has been really sombre in the community and I think it's the sense of the unknown that's freaking people out. Some people are really anxious. Others feel like it'll all be okay. Uh, the Australian Workers Union held a town hall meeting in the community last night, which was attended by the State Premier and the Resources Minister. And some of the comments coming out of that was people were angry about the lack of transparency from Glencore about the mine being closed, the copper mine, in 2025, as well as a, a lack of long term planning and letting people know that this was going to happen. Now Glencore has said that they're going to try to retrain, redeploy and re retain those 1,200 employees. But in Mount Isa, copper is seen as an industry. So that has a huge flow on effect, not just to those employees, but to contractors to the mine, to small businesses like cafes, restaurants restaurants in the community, even real estate. And you know, it's not just these employees that could be leaving town, it's their partners, it's their children. And something really interesting, it won't just impact Mount Isa alone. Analyst Delta Pearl estimates that the Queensland Treasury earns $200 million a year from taxes on economic activity in Mount Isa. So that's mainly the mine. So it will also impact the state's budgets bottom line. No wonder there's so much discussion about what else they might be able to find there. The critical mineral, uh, minerals that some people say are under the ground. The state's treasurer will have him on the program a bit later but he has announced some help for Mount Isa. Yes, he has. He's announced a $50 million package for Mount Isa. Now, $30 million of that will be to support projects in and around Mount Isa. As you mentioned, Lisa, there's a huge focus on critical minerals in the area. There's new minerals like vanadium, which are used in electric car batteries. Uh, but the state government seems to be wanting to support the community. Glencore did approach them a month ago uh, and the state government said that they would be willing to support the mine but Glencore said that it's at the end of its mine life and the ore isn't, is just not high enough quality. Mount Isa is really still reeling this morning after the news that Glencore, that huge multinational, is to shut one of the biggest underground copper mines in the world in uh, two years' time. Chief Operating Officer of Glencore's Australian Zinc and Copper Assets, Sam Stromayer, joins us now from Mount Isa. Great to have you on the program. Thanks, Sam. Thanks, Madeline. Lovely to, lovely to be here. Why are you closing these mines in Mount Isa? Look, I'd just like to start by saying that we're, you know, Mount Isa Mines is, is not closing. We have a number of long life assets that will be continuing in, in Mount Isa, particularly in our zinc assets. What we, what we have been announcing uh, yesterday and continuing today is, that our, that is our copper assets. So after, after 60 years of, of mining, our, our, copper, our underground copper assets are, are coming to a close and we'll be closing them in, in almost two years time in, in July 2025. Yeah, why though? Yeah, the, 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 the mines have been running for 60 years, which is, which is an amazing, amazing effort. And after sort of six years of, of extensions, we really are now at, at the end of, of the life of the mine. The, the ore that we're extracting is right at the extremities of, of the ore body. We're almost two kilometres deep underground. And, and the ore grade is getting lower and lower. So it's a, it's a combination of we really are at the, at the end of the, of, of the ore body. Um, and, and, and now that we've done the detailed work, we've done extensive studies to, to look for options for extending further, um, we're now at a position that we can let our workforce know firstly and then the wider community know that, that we're not closing tomorrow but in two years time we do see the end of the mine. Yeah, that's honestly very little time for the community. Could you not have given them more lead time? 
Look, we've been doing uh, extensive studies to see if there's any possibility of, of extending further. We, we've completed those studies. We've gone through our very detailed life of asset uh, planning uh, process through this year and now into our budgets. And we now have a very clear line of sight between where we are today and, and two years' time. So that's why we're, we're announcing this yesterday and today. To, to give people, particularly our workforce, but also the, the Mount Isa community, as much time as possible to, to, start, to start this process, to start this transition between now and, and two years' time. OK, just on closing, you gave similar reasons for uh, closing a mine in Cloncurry a couple of years ago. It was then sold and the new owners actually extended it by 17 years. Have you really tried everything that you possibly can to keep this mine going? Absolutely. We have some of the best engineers, geologists, mine planning engineers, geotechnical engineers and very experienced operational people that have actually done a magnificent job to extend uh, the mic operations more, for more than six years past what we thought was possible before. But we really have done extremely detailed studies. This deposit has been uh, drilled, it's been operating for 60 years, we know it very well. It, it really is now at, at, at the end of its life and, and you know, all mines, um, they, they eventually come to end and, and this is, you know, everybody should be extremely proud. Having a mine running for 60 years is, is quite amazing but, uh, you know, unfortunately it is coming to its end but we're giving people, you know, two years time to start this process of, of transition and, and one of the key things for us is, with our very skilled workforce here, is to look at uh, retaining and redeploying to our extensive ongoing operations mm. in Mount Isa. We and, have and when, when will you know a, a, how many of those? Mine. When will you know how many of those uh, 1,200 employees and associated workers can actually be redeployed? Yeah, that, that's that's the process that we're starting now, and we're looking to see as, as, as much as possible people who, who who love working in mining, who love living in Mount Isa, to, to redeploy to our ongoing operations, our, our zinc mine our other concentrators that are running here in Mount Isa mm. and, and our, two smel and our two smelters, our lead okay. smelter and our ongoing copper smelter and refinery. But, but, but you can't say when that's, when that's going to be. I just want to ask you about the um, $20 million that the state government is giving uh, towards an economic uh, structural adjustment package. Um, are you committing 100% to matching that $20 million that's being given by the state government? Look, Glencore has a, has a strong and a long history of supporting the community here in Mount Isa. We, we welcome uh, the state government's involvement in looking at this transition for, for Mount Isa. We strongly believe that a, a working group or a task force is a great idea and we strongly believe that it needs to be uh, heavily involved with local people, Will local you match that money? workforce, Will you match that money? local community. Now, we, 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 we think a first logical step is to establish the, the working group, establish the terms of reference with a strong local focus, working on then what, 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 what are these initiatives into the future and then we will certainly be committed to, to working and supporting the local community. Okay, Sam Stromeyer from Glencore, thanks for joining us from Mount Isa. Thanks very much for your time.